Hello guys, and today we're going to be installing these hex LED fixtures and revamping my ceiling in my shop for less than $400. So stay tuned and watch through. Alright, as you can see here, I've been rolling on some Valspar ceiling flat white onto the ceiling. Now, the reason I'm doing this is the ceiling was never painted. We put a light coat on there, priming it years ago while we did everything else while I was building some of my first builds. And with time, everything has to be upgraded, especially the lighting in here. We need some extra lumens off of these LED fixtures to make sure I can see what I'm doing from detailing to upholstery. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel to see these cars get restored. I restore classic cars and also work on modern ones, giving you some good solutions on how to fix things. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, I've been restoring cars since I was 15 years old, and I'm 27 now, and you know that you're never done learning, so you can watch as I'm going through all my learning curves and starting up my shop and my channel. All right, so once you get to the area where you want to mount these hex lights, we're going to be marking out the areas where we need to put some plastic anchors in, now, if you're going to sheetrock, you're going to need plastic anchors. If you're going in cement, you need plastic anchors. If you're going to be going into plywood, you could just use screws. Now, this is what you got to do if you want to make sure these things are secure. Now, you can always use chains to drop them down from the ceiling. Just make sure whatever you're using, drills for your anchor kits, chains, anything like that, make sure everything is secure properly so that you don't have any excess weight causing these to sag. Alright, the next thing you need to do is make sure you have a power source. This is a 110 volt power source, so I'm going to make sure I have the correct voltage going there. Now, do not do any wiring if you're not able to understand this type of stuff. I do not recommend anyone doing electrical if they have never done it before. Hire a professional. I've been tinkering with electrical work for 16 years, and I've been doing it for about 10 years as my day job once I left vocational school for that. Once I found out that wasn't my passion, I went into automotive, and that's where I found out that's what I wanted to do. Alright, I got about halfway through with the two fixtures going up. You can choose which style you want, and you can see which ones I ordered on my last video. You can go on Amazon and order them too. They're about $47 a piece. If you choose a different style, they go up in pricing. Now, I'm going to wire this up the same way as I'm going to be using the same feed that we use for the fluorescent tube fixtures. This way, I don't have to change the location of the light switch, and that way, when you go to turn on the lights in the garage, they turn on at the same time as the hex lights. Now, this is a 15 amp breaker that's going to be on this circuit and this way with the 125 watt four fixtures I'll have more than enough amperage to push them because they're not that much voltage in the first place and those old fluorescent tubes are not that much either. I used a four inch box with a standard 15 amp outlet and I did a dual gang outlet on the original one because I just had it spare at the time and then that way I could plug in other light fixtures if I need to and then ran an MC whip with another box on it with another outlet and this way I could plug them in without the extension cords running across the ceiling. Alright, once you're satisfied with laying out where your fixtures are going to go up and you landed all of the anchors in and screwed everything in once you aligned it, now we can install these wireless dimmers, which I'll include a link in my description where you can buy it and I'm not affiliated with any of these products. This is my honest opinion of me installing them. I don't get paid or get any commission from them. Now my honest opinion is that they are very bright and they're very good for the pricing that they are. Now if you do have more than three hexagons together, it's going to require a lot more hands to install it. I mean you could do it by yourself, but they do flex a little and get more flimsy once you install more than three of these hexagons together in a pattern. Alright, now we're going to get into setting up the software for this lighting system. Now this system does come with free software, you just have to go in the app store to download it. Now the name of the app is called Casa Smart. Now as soon as you're finished downloading it, you'll be greeted by a message to tell you how to start the setup software. Now you can choose if you want notifications sent to you. But if you do want this app to work, you do need to give local permission over to the app to access that. Now once you're done creating an account and getting all that situated with a password and with your email attached to it, then you'll be receiving a message in your email which you can confirm and make sure your activation is complete on your account. Now like anything else, they give you a terms of use and privacy policy that you have to confirm and make sure that that's okay with you once you confirm that. 
All right, once that's done, we can activate that dimmer plug that we installed on those lights, and that way we can download each one one by one. Now, once you click add a plug or device, you can choose which one you ordered online by looking at the box or the order number. Now, each plug is going to be added individually, so you're going to go through this process for each fixture or plug you ordered. Now, once you see that your device is blinking between orange and green, we can go through and start to click on the next step, which will be going into your settings, going into Wi-Fi, and then clicking on your device. That way you can add it. As you can see, I found what my device's name was, and it was TP-Link Smart Dimmer 3B41. So connect to it, and then go right back to your app. Once you flip back to the app, you can see it connecting to the smart plug. And once it's done, you can go through the next step which the next step is going to be logging into your router at your house so that you can provide a connection slash network for these devices to work. Once it's done with the process of connecting to the network, you can then name your device so that you can know which one you're activating at the time. Now this is a hex light that I'm activating, so I'm going to name it hex light 1. And I have about three more to go on the ceiling, and now I'm going to put one on the wall. Now, once you named it, you'll have an update that usually happens for the firmware. Once you're done with that, we can go into dimming it and setting the max and minimum dimness level. But you'll see that in another video if I have time to show you guys how to activate the dimming calibration. Now, with this app, you can control your smart plugs right from your Alexa, Google Assistant, or Samsung Smart Things. You can use a lot of things just like that, and it'll allow you to access them right through that. But thanks again, guys. Remember to stay tuned. Check out some of the merch that I have up for sale. And remember to check out my eBay channel. I have a lot of products up for sale. All that helps build up my small channel and help me get any extra tools and keep building up my career to have the garage and shop that I'm hoping for one day. All right, guys. Stay tuned for more. Thanks again. Like and subscribe.